It is with a heavy heart that we are here today, still shocked and heartbroken about the murder of eight in Georgia, including six Asian American women by a gunman who targeted three Asian businesses, the first one being Young's Asian Massage, then driving 27 miles to two other Asian spas. His targets were no accident. And what we know is that this day was coming. And because of crimes like this, I, as chair of the Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus, or KPAC, urged the committee to undertake this hearing because the Asian American community has reached a crisis point that cannot be ignored. Since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, Asian Americans have been terrified by the alarming surge in anti-Asian bigotry and violence we have witnessed across our nation. In fact, it was over one year ago that KPAC first began to sound the alarm bells about the anti-Asian discrimination we were beginning to see due to misinformation and stigma that wrongly associated Asian Americans with the coronavirus. But what started out last January as dirty looks and verbal assaults has escalated to physical attacks and violence against innocent Asian Americans. And these attacks have increasingly become more deadly. We shouldn't be worried about having a committee of members of Congress policing our rhetoric because some evildoers go engage in some evil activity as occurred in Atlanta, Georgia. Because when we start policing free speech, we're doing the very thing that we're condemning when we condemn what the Chinese Communist Party does to their country. And that's exactly where this wants to go. This is the road this wants to head down. And nothing could be more dangerous than going down that road. Because who decides what is hate? We cannot turn a blind eye to people living in fear. I want to go back to something that Mr. Roy said earlier. Your president and your party and your colleagues can talk about issues with any other country that you want, but you don't have to do it by putting a bullseye on the back of Asian Americans across this country, on our grandparents, on our kids. This hearing was to address the hurt and pain of our community and to find solutions, and we will not let you take our voice away from us. Thank you, I yield back.